All right, guys, so we just had that crazy trial of strength event and we haven't got our rewards yet. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why that probably is. We're gonna talk about another event that's kind of feeding off this event, which sucks for the players, but we should expect it by now. And then we're gonna talk about some exciting uh, channel announcements that I hope you uh, will wanna take part in. So uh, let's go do that. All right, and here we are at the race for the Trial of Strength Closer. This was the last, uh, right now I got it on eight minutes, but we're not going to watch this whole thing. In fact, we're not even going to see the ending of it, uh, but we will look at the end result. So if we look here, we'll see that Legion was at 50, uh, 60, Mutiny 54, Baby Yoda 53, and Onslaught, I believe, was down there at 51. And just to show a reference point, we were in rank six at 27.5 million. And there was a couple uh, floating in and out of the top 10 as well. I believe uh, Samurai, uh, Team Superfly, Panzer Hulk Prime, and uh, Hellfire Syndicate, I think is what they were called at the time. I think they were all floating in and out from 8 to 12. And there was a battle there as well. I believe the Liu Kang Dynasty held, held tough there. Uh, but yeah, okay, so let's uh, let's fast forward a little bit because we don't watch this. I'm just wanted to show you how the numbers start escalating. They started climbing, and uh, it did not look like this an hour and one minutes before the end, the end of the event. Uh, <laughs> millions and millions of points were added by the end. So, uh, oh, that was a good little show right there. All right, oh, come on. Sorry, this is recorded, so i got to find the right spot. So Mutiny was knocked into fourth place at this point. Legion was still holding tough at rank one. Onslaught pushed up 9 million points to get to rank two. And Baby Yoda uh, pushed up a little bit to get to 57 million. Now let's go look at another one. This is where it starts getting a little violent. So Onslaught, <laughs> I, I believe like one minute had passed since I hit unrecord and then looked again. And Onslaught put up another like 5 million. You see Super Troopers, we added about... 1.2 million, and that was basically one person who had hundreds of gold orbs left, and he wasn't going to open them unless he had to, because we do think there's going to be a gold orb rework uh, based off this event even happening. Um, but yeah, he took one for the team. He started opening them to make sure we could hold tough. I actually don't even know what the final scores were, if we did, if we had to do that or not. We could check later. Oh, we definitely had to do that. Yeah, yeah. I just saw the rest of the scores. We definitely had to do that. Uh, okay, so as you see, things are getting crazy, and I believe Mutiny was in danger of uh, being ranked four for quite a while there. It really looked like they were beginning ranked four. Uh, and then the end of the event happened, and let me go over there. Let's go to the trial of strength. And as you see, Mutiny ended up getting ranked three. So Onslaught ended the race at 74 million, Legion at 66 million, Mutiny at 61.57 or 59 million, and Baby Yoda at 61.54 million. Oof, that's like a $15 offer when thousands of dollars were spent to get to that place in the first place. So, here's why you may not have gotten your words yet. I don't know for sure. This is speculation. Baby Yoda, Mutiny, Legion, Onslaught, um, uh, Baron Sits to P was Hellfire Syndicate. Storming the Castle is Lou. Wakanda got in there. Pencil Prime got in there. Samurai, TSF, they were all fighting for the spots, right? All of these alliances had members going into the web store to purchase to fight for their alliance's spot. Um, and that's kind of why the pay structure will never end. If the, if the highest end people are in there dumping money uh, at the end of events, you're, you're, you're doing a, an auction against each other, but the money that you bid stays with Scopely. It's the way she goes. But... One reason you may not be having your rewards yet is because the web store crashed. I know, right? Scopely is so inept, they can't even collect all your money in the appropriate time. So people from Baby Yoda were trying to do purchases and they were getting error messages. I'm sure the same was happening to Samurai and TSF who got kicked out at the last minute by such a slim, slim, slim margin. Actually, now that I look at it, we went up a bunch more. So a shout out to, I'm not going to say his name, but to Homie who had hundreds of gold orders left and opened them all for us. Um, so the, the web store crashed and so they weren't actually able to purchase anything and get anything done. So I'm wondering, and I, I'm not going to say how I feel about this or how I feel about the way this event unfolded and, and all of that. 
because I've said that to the people who I wanted to say that to, and, and I don't think airing out dirty laundry will be any use for us here. I wonder if Baby Yoda is going to be getting ranked 1 through 3 rewards, i.e. that 7 Red Sword Armamu, plus all those ions, because it was Scopely's fault. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of hopeful that that... I'm not, I wasn't supposed to say that. Okay, no, take it back. Let's just blurt that out. Um, I'm wondering if that'll be the case. Now let's go ahead and look at another issue that occurred here that they probably don't want me talking about. So, in this video that I made right before this event, uh, we discussed some possible exploits that could be happening here and something that the developers wanted you to know. They wanted you to have this information so you wouldn't screw yourself. And that was, there is a 24-hour lockout to collect rewards and to contribute. Uh, half of that was true. So, there was no 24-hour lockout to contribute. So, people were able to jump into an alliance, open up all their gold orbs, collect all their raid credits, and boost an alliance's score. Now, did this affect the top 10 or the top 50? I don't think so, but there was another problem that definitely affected other brackets. And that was basically that there was a thousand dollar energy offer available right before this event. And if you held on to that into a new account, I don't actually know if it was available if you made an account after that point, but if you had a new account, you got that energy and you joined an alliance, you could then use that 1000 energy to level all the way up to 24. And I believe that either that somehow made you uh, eligible to collect your raid season rewards or there was gold orbs along the way. I don't exactly know how it happened. People were, I had like three people report it to me. One showed me an example of how it worked. Uh, essentially somebody was able to make a new account, level that character up, collect raid season rewards, and then they were able to contribute 95,000 points to an alliance. Now the optimist in me hopes that that didn't corrupt any rankings and just let more people finish the milestones. Um, but, but I mean, I, I want you guys to have that information out there anyway. So all in all, this event sucked and it leads to more suckage because, uh, they're, they're shoving another event down our throats that is just for, uh, collecting raid, uh, raid credits. Let me go ahead and pull that one up here. So yeah, hoard your raid credits. They're going to have a special offensive video, uh, off event. We've had this event before. It's kind of unsurprising that they wanted to drain us of all of our raid credits. Uh, before running this event, but it still doesn't make them not any more evil. <laughs> it doesn't make them any less bad. Uh, so rolling out on February 10th, what is the day today? It is the 8th. So start holding onto your Doom uh, end rewards, guys. Don't be popping those. Uh, there will be a lucrative re reward session, special offense, earn raid credits, and spend campaign energy. So also hold on to your web store energy, uh, excluding ISO 8 energy campaign. Turn points towards milestones that reward teal and orange gear, gold and silver promotion credits, and character shards. This event will also feature a leaderboard, exclusively T2 level 5 ions and red stars for absorbing them. Oh boy. They're really turning the knife on us, guys. Uh, don't miss this chance to earn rewards while making progress towards uh, commander level 95. Okay, so obviously that last event was meant to siphon our gold orbs, uh, siphon Kraken's wallets for buying the milestone points on the web store and for making us pop all of our raid credits to make sure that we would get those milestones for our alliance or contribute as much as possible. Um, yeah, yeah, now they're running this. Now this is something they've run before. This is something we should probably always assume they're gonna run. Um, there's literally only one source of T2 level five ions, I believe, and it's these leaderboards. I don't think I've ever seen them in offers. Maybe they are. I have not seen them in like milestone points. So they just need to run these leaderboard events as much as possible, which I mean, it's, it's what, two a week now? It's kind of crazy um, because people want the big boy apocalypse. And if they're keeping them this exclusive, then they know people will pay for it. And that's just the way it goes. So that's what's going on with the current payout event and this new event that's coming up. So make sure you hold on to your, your free web store energy and make sure you hold on to your Doom 3 uh, payouts as well. And now I got an exciting announcement, which is why I'm still all chipper and, and having fun. So let's go talk about that. All right, guys. So this Friday, I am very happy to say I'm going to be streaming the new Hogwarts Legacy game. Uh, I've been very hyped for this game ever since I saw it. Uh, I used to play like the Hogwarts game on, I think it was PlayStation 2. 
um, the the Chamber of Secrets one, which was great. I've been a huge Harry Potter nerd forever, and this game just looks beautiful. It's getting amazing reviews. I've had no spoilers, and I've heard the story is actually pretty dope. So I'm going to be streaming this literally all day, and I might even bring some like review videos to YouTube, some highlights and stuff like that. Uh, and I think that's that's what I'm going to start trying to integrate into the channel a little bit. It's not going to be like 20 Harry Potter videos. No, it'll probably be like one preview or one overview video talking about some cool stuff here and there. And I'm going to be doing that to all kind of mainstream games that come out right like in the future. Like the the God of War Ragnarok one that came out not too long ago. That's one I would do this for as well. Um, and you do kind of like Red Dead Redemption or if a Witcher game comes out or something like that. I think that's something I want to start bringing to the channel as well because uh, games are fun. And I, and I still love Marvel Strike Force. I'm still be playing Marvel Strike Force daily and making content for that game daily. But I want to start branching out and experiencing uh, other gaming industry things. I just look how beautiful this looks. That's so cool. <laughs> I've, I've heard the customization is great. The only downside is no Quidditch, but the spell casting, the, the, the combat system, I've heard it's all great. The puzzles, everything like that. It's going to be super fun. So if you want to come hang out on February 10th, I'll be streaming it literally all day. My kids are going to see their grandparents. Um, we're going to see how far we can get. Maybe you want to play along. It should be a lot of fun. But anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to say. So, uh, yeah, have a good day. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.